I added up how much all these shoes would have been if I'd bought them brand new, and you know what that came to? $1,000. And what did I get them for? 48 freaking dollars for all of these. Yet yeah, it's so much fun. Hi, welcome to the best thrift haul ever. Yeah, I said it. But seriously, once you've seen what I found on this thrift haul, I think you'll agree with me. Now, most of the following items in this haul come from this one magical thrift store. That's this big warehouse thrift store where you basically go dumpster diving in these giant bins full of unsorted clothes. And everything that you find, you put on a scale at the end, and it's just priced at eight dollars per kilo. It is my favorite place in the world. Now I was umming and eyeing about giving the location of this particular thrift store away because you'll all steal all my cute clothes and there won't be any cute clothes left for me. And I got but it'd be pretty crappy of me not to share it after showing you all the awesome stuff I get from there. So compromise. I'll be putting the location up as a public post on my Patreon page so anyone can see it but you have to go to my Patreon page to find it. And while you're there, you know, maybe, maybe you throw me a dollar or so. A couple of items in this haul are from a second thrift store but it's not as good. But I did get some really nice stuff from there so I'm including them in this haul. Alright, enough of me talking. First item. Check out this cute skirt. I'd actually gotten rid of a lot of my pencil skirts um, when I went up a few dress sizes and didn't get any more because I got into that whole if you have a tummy you shouldn't wear tight clothing thing. Yeah, that bullsh**. Anyway, then I realized that my little tummy's really cute, so pencil skirts all the way. And I also had a pencil skirt with these, my pastel new old New Balance shoes. <laughs> a kilo. I'm gonna estimate how much it costs based on the weight of the item. So I'd say this was probably about 90 cents. This is a cute stripy shirt that I thought would look really good with a nautical themed outfit. It's the middle of winter right now in Sydney, but one day it will be warm again. <laughs> my dog has been cuddling it. I washed it after I got it, don't worry. It's the pillow that hugs you back. Oh, okay, so I picked this up and then um, went over to my friend to make fun of it because of the big frilly collar and then I was like, oh no, actually, this is really cute and it's an off the shoulder shirt. I was having very good luck with off the shoulder things because I found this one too, this stripey number. And I dressed up with some tight-ish black velvet pants. I think any kind of black pants or leggings that you pair with a stripey off the shop, off the shop, off the shoulder crop top is gonna look really cute. Oh, so this is such a magical dress. It actually is a bit too small for me at the waist, but all I have to do is to move that button there further along. So I'm gonna do it right now. Oops, I accidentally made it tighter because I'm very, very clever. Need to move it that way, that way. Okay, so I fixed it. I sewed it on upside down. Heck! Well, you know what they say about the third time? The third time is a charm. Wait, am I sewing this on the wrong way again? Are you kidding me? Somebody just stop me now. You know what they say? Fourth time's even more charming. Oh my god, I finally did it right. Perfect. Speaking of shoes, I got each of these pairs of shoes for $6 each, and that included some very new looking Nike, New Balance, and Adidas shoes. So I was feeling pretty damn lucky considering all of these will sell for over $100 when new. Oh, and these are some really cute Mary Jane Crocs. I've decided I'm only ever wearing comfy shoes again, and so now I have a pair of comfy shoes to match every outfit. Look at this adorable early 90s kids tapestry set. I got it because I really wanted to use this cute pink plastic frame. I'm not sure if I'll use the suggested template for sewing, but different colored threads and a needle also come in handy too. I found a cute floral dress as well, which I styled up for a more winter appropriate outfit. Can't have enough vintage slips. I love wearing silky slips as outerwear actually, and then grunging it up with a denim jacket over the top. Just to make it obvious you didn't accidentally go out wearing your pajamas. 
Oh, and these shorts, these are so nice. They are tailored shorts and the cutest belt that came with as well. I actually think this was $2, one of the most expensive things in my haul. Oh my gosh, these. Look at them, they're beautiful. They're wedges. They're dusty. So I don't actually know what possessed me to get these. They're not in my usual style. There's something about them, like this this black here, you can't see it, but it's it's suede or velour. Something nice and soft and velvety. I love them so dearly. But I've been having a hard time styling them, probably because it's the middle of winter and flip-flops aren't appropriate. But guys, I love them so much. Mm. <gasps> these are shell pattern pants. Hmm, I seem to be getting a lot of summer themed items. I think I am hemisphere confused. Ooh, this one was a really cool find. I actually found a whole bunch of rompers. I found five all up. Actually, it was really strange. I was sitting a lot while I was at the op shop having rest because we were there for four hours and I just kept seeing really cute patterns from in the distance, going over there, picking it up. Every single time I did that, it was a romper that fit me perfectly. So much so that the person I was with was like, you have some strange superpower for rompers. So guys, I have a superpower. It's for finding cute rompers. Most useful superpower ever. But here's all the other rompers that I got. two-parter because it's already been gone pretty long so far and I think I filmed about 20 different styled outfits so yeah definitely gonna split this into two videos. Stay tuned for part two of the greatest thrift haul of all time featuring sneak preview. Why am I singing the Jaws song? That's all you get to see. Tune in for part two next time. See ya! <laughs> Go for that.